Well, coming up very soon is something we come to know as Halloween. All sorts of people will be out there partying, dressing up amongst things ghostly and ghoulish, all the stuff that goes bump in the night. But there's another anniversary on October the 31st, which is perhaps not so well known, but I'd like to suggest is far more important. It's called Reformation Day. Back in 1517, a Roman Catholic monk called Martin Luther sparked a debate which put a bomb under the Roman Catholic Church. And if you think religion is corrupt today, well, it was far worse back then. See, ordinary people were charged money by the church if they wanted their sins forgiven by the priests. And also to uh, get out of purgatory a bit quicker once they died, that mythical place between heaven and hell. But Martin Luther, reading directly from the scriptures, the Bible itself, had discovered this was all wrong on every level. He saw that to be right with God, to be back in relationship with God, was a personal thing. To turn away from the things of this world, to turn towards the things of God, to turn away from darkness and towards the light. And an expression came from this sign that said, after the darkness comes the light. Well, there's plenty of darkness around in this world today without going out and celebrating it. It comes down to a choice, I guess, between whether we really want to spend our time in the darkness or actually we want a bit more of the light to find out more about the kind of life that God has on offer for us, not just in this life, but on the other side of the grave. So to live in darkness or to turn away towards the light. It's a choice for each one of us to make. I know which one I'd choose, but as for you, well, may I suggest it's worth a thought. But for now, do take care. Stay safe and thank you for listening.